first time you're coming to our channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Pan Fam. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You come up in a party spot. Yes, we like to have a good time over here, okay? We like to talk about bougie makeup and bougie fragrances and bougie everything really, you know? Because we like luxury on this joint. We also like to find it at a discount, so we budget a little bit. No, 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 we don't, we don't budget. We just try to find things on a discount or on sale or, you know, something like that, all right? So you heard me call you fam, right? Yes, you did. You know why? Because I've already adopted you, okay? So all I need for you to do now, fam, you know, I can't adopt you. There's no, there's no argument. You can't walk out the door. You already pressed the button. You already see me and I saw you. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can't go nowhere. I'm going to find you. <laughs> All right, family, check this out. You will love being part of the Pan Fam. And to ensure that you, my dear, stays part of the Pan Fam, I need you to hit this button right here. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be blinking like that. You know, maybe not so fast, but blinking. Yes, hit that subscribe button. When you hit that subscribe button, well, I don't think it blinks actually. No, it don't blink. It's just there. Just hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button to my left, to your right, like right around here somewhere, you will see a bell. Please make sure you hit that notification bell. When you hit that notification bell, if you hit the one with the squiggly lines, you will know every single time I upload a video. Mm, yes. And you want that because you want to know all the, all the stuff I, I bought, all the stuff I'm showing up to you, all the stuff I want you to go buy too. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, guys, please, please, please hit. I would love for you to join the family. So just go ahead and please hit that button. I'm waiting like three seconds. Yeah, one thousand. One, two, and three. You hit the button. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate you doing that. And now that you hit that button, you are now part of the Pam Pam. So now you are a new subscriber. So come on in. Yes, we like to hug over here. Come, come. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. I love hugs so much. Yes, I love hugging. Mm -hmm. Yes. New family and old family, we hugging up. Yes, because we're family and that's what we do. We love upon each other. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I know you saw the title and I know you saw the thumbnail. If I, if, I, if I got a good thumbnail this time, sometimes my photography ain't all that good. But if you saw that, you probably have an idea what this video is about already in the title and everything. So... If you are interested in seeing what my picks are, please stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. I am so glad that you stuck with me and you stayed for like two point, not even 2.5 seconds, 0.5 seconds, okay? So, I am excited because a lot of folks right now are doing some YouTube videos about, you know, fall is quickly approaching. Where I'm at right now is still, you know, hot, hot. I'm wearing a sweater, but that's because I was cold earlier where I was located, so. Yeah, but it's, it, it is hot, okay? But it doesn't mean that fall isn't coming. So technically fall is almost here. Some people already have temperatures dropping, right? So I decided I wanted to join this tag in picking out, they were saying 10 fragrances for the fall. My 10 fragrances for the fall, my uh, summer, my warm weather fragrances, you know, all of those titles. Well, I, you know, you see my personality, right? Your family, right? And ain't no shame in my game. You see my personality? Mm -hmm. What you see is what you get. <laughs> yes. I decided to pick up 20. Yes. 20. So in order for me to go through those 20, I have to stop talking as much as I talk. Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm talkative. Well, you already knew that because you're family. Let's just get right into it. And I will start off with number 20. Number 20 that I know I'm going to be wearing this fall, okay, is this bad boy right here. And this is Chloe Nomad. I tried to wear Chloe Nomad uh, a, a couple times during the summer. And it wasn't very bad, but I, it was strong. You know, it's strong on my body. I don't know if it's the musk in this scent. I don't know. I love the scent. I do, you know, I like it. It's a really strong like. I won't say I love love. You know, I, I reserve love for other houses. <laughs> this bad boy here is strong on my skin. And I don't need to overspray. And I am an overspray. I don't need to overspray here. I should just be spraying probably on my wrist. Except for where I wear my watch. 
on my forearm and probably right behind my neck back here. The other day when I wore it, I sprayed too much of it and that's probably why I almost got choked out. But bottom line is, this is my number 20 for the fall. My number 19 fragrance is Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture and I really love this scent. This one you'll find, you can find this at TJ Maxx for about $39, a whole set with like the miniature and the lotion and stuff like that. And one of the things that I like about this is it's got like little diamantes or diamantes at the top right up here. Okay. And I think it's kind of cute, but I really like this scent. I've been wearing, I think I've had this for about a year and a half. And it has a, what I remember saying, it has a very sugary scent and almost, for lack of a better word, almost, I don't know if y'all remember old school nail polish. It's a company called Cutex, C-U-T-E-X. When I initially smelled it, I got that kind of like whiff. From, from that, but it's not bad. It's not a bad, it's not a bad chemical scent or anything like that. I smell sugar on this, and this is very grown up. When I, I have a piece of paper here, I cut up tissues, I have them like as bougie as, as ordering stuff. I, I will soon though, or those cute little, you know, strips. Okay, so, mmm, this still smells really good to me, nice and sugary, and I noticed it got slightly darker since I've had it. So maybe I've had it for two years yet. I've had it for two years. But I think that this is a scent for a woman in her 30s, 30s, no younger. I don't see younger girls like in their early teens and stuff wearing this. So this is my number 19. My number 18 is this here. And this is Fendi La Carosa. When I first moved here and I started shopping at TJ Maxx, before I was going there every single day, it's now called PJ Maxx. I don't know if y'all know the name change yet. So this fragrance right here, it's kind of hard. I sometimes overspray this, so I tend to not use it as much. I've had it, I think I've worn this fragrance maybe about four times total since I've owned her. And I really like the bottle. I know it's hard to come by. I know it's a cheapie. It's probably like $25, $26 now. You could probably find it. But it has a very grown up mature scent and not like powdery mature. It has a fruity, woody base to it. And the reason I selected this as a fragrance that I can wear Mm -hmm. The fragrance that I can wear during the winter or during the fall, it's because it has a sharp note to it. Like very uh, like dressy, very like grown up. I keep using the words grown up. Very dressy, very elegant. That's the word I'm looking for. Fendi La Carosa. Here we go. Okay. So I hope this doesn't bother anybody, but I tend to look at my computer and I, I look, at, uh, look up notes on Fragrantica. And that, so this is floral, citrus, rose, fresh, spicy, musky, and aromatic. So I think that whenever I have an affinity where I go, oh, that's a little sharp with fragrances, I think it's because the fragrances have um, aromatics in it, or it might have like a strong benzoin component to it. It has like a green element to it, like the green milky leaves. I always re reference back to things in my life or experiences in my life when I smell fragrances or I wanted to transport me somewhere with fragrances. That's what I like. But this one, yes, definitely has that green, fresh, spicy. And I don't wear this enough. I, it's not one of my favorites, but it's one that I will wear because it's colder, it's cooler. I would wear, tend to wear it that time of the year instead of, um, even though it's a citrus, you know, the summer. I didn't wear it at all this summer. Okay. And my number 17 is this one right here. And this is Signe, uh, what is it? Salvatore Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina. This fragrance right here is also has been in my collection, I wanna say almost two years now. And I actually really like this fragrance, but it's very, very, very sweet and it can become quite clawing. Mm-hmm, very, I thought, Yes, very sweet, can be very cloying. I tend to overspray this. I don't know why I do it because I know it's already strong. I know a lot of people can smell me, you know, like two doors down or two offices down or another building, <laughs> you know. And it has very good sillage. It has very good projection. It has very good um, in terms of wear, like how long longevity of wear. This is very good. This is Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina Misteriosa, okay? And this one here, it's very sweet too. All right, so moving right along, that was one, two, three, 17. So we're going to number 16, and this is a new one to my collection. 
and this one is the opium black opium and this is the um i want to say this is the intense version it is the intense version and oh yes it is sweet it is nice it's not like it's intense it's not strong to me it's not as strong in my opinion it's not as strong as the mysterio by salvatore uh salvatore ferragamo i can't even speak tonight i don't think it's as strong but it is sweet and it is a nice, pleasant fragrance. I can wear this, you can wear this to work too, but I think that this would probably be reserved in the evenings. So, yep. I would, again, I would put the, the elements of this fragrance up because I have 20 of these and if I were to go through every single one of them, it might be problematic. We might be here all night. <laughs> and y'all don't want that. This one is Juicy Couture and this is Viva La Juicy. Noir, and this came out. I want to say this came out in 2018 or maybe 2017. Not sure. This is sweet, has a juicy couture DNA, pretty pink bottle, you know, cute design. It's sort of like a, a shiny metallic pink. I really like it. I really like it. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep, I like it. So I will be wearing this that fall, this fall. Even if it's just to be worn once, Pam's. So on that kick, let's move over to number 15. I wonder 15, yeah, number 15. And this is Alien by Theory Mugler. You guys know I love this perfume. I actually, oh my gosh, I love this perfume. This perfume, I am committed to getting this halfway, like the bottle down here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do this this uh for cool weather and moving right along alien number 14 is going to be carolina herrera this is the legere version and you can see this legere the bottom of the well not the bottom but the tip of the toe of the heel is not as dark it's not black and again it's a bluish bottle i like blue bottles i guess huh look at that mister guys look at that mister Ah, oh, she's so sweet. This is a good scent. It's a good scent all year long. It's a lighter version. It's not as deep. It's not as thick. It's not as heavy as the Good Girl, the original Good Girl, or any other flanker of Good Girl. I don't know if there are other flankers. But this one here, once it settles in, it has that nice, in my opinion, almost a chocolatey vibe, but not cloying, not nauseating as Good Girl makes me. I've tried Good Girl several times, and I took it back every single time. This one is going to be, oh, right here. And this is Dahlia, Dahlia Devin. And this one is, I think this is my favorite Dahlia Devin. Yes. This is my favorite. She is Le Nectar Intense. And the way you know it's the Intense is the gold, the gold cap. Although sometimes, well, I notice, and the bottle is different. You see, it transitions up to like a darker gold to a lighter gold. So this one right here, I really enjoy this whole series of Dahlia Devin. I don't know how other people don't like it, but I love this stuff, okay? I love this stuff. I have perfume on already from today, so I don't want to spray the perfume on my body and defeat the purpose of giving you, you know, but I'm not really giving you uh, a review. I'm just telling you what I'm going to wear this winter and fall for warm weather, cool weather, cool weather. Yeah, we don't say that cool weather frags. Mmm, she's so sophisticated. Yes, she's sophisticated. She's, mmm, yes, I love this. I don't know how people don't. If you own this fragrance, Dahlia de Vin, the Le Nectar, let me know what you think about it. I love this. Maybe it's just me. I have a weird nose, I guess. All right, so moving right along. Next one is Stevie Mugler. This is, dun, 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 Angel Muse. Nice little chocolatey, hazelnutty. She is so, mm. and this, oh yes. Yes, guys. She is bold, she is sweet, she is hazel, she's nutty. And the nut is hazelnut, okay? And this bad boy here, I am committed to also wearing this. The problem with this fragrance and wearing it throughout the day is if you are in close quarters with other people, that is not your spouse, you can turn them on. But most people, you know not to overspray this. You only need like two or three sprays of this bad boy because it lasts, it stays on your skin, the sillage, the projection, all of that is there with this Angel Muse right here. And you'll see a lot of people probably talking about this fragrance um, when they discuss their collections or what they plan on wearing during the fall and winter. Here, and this is C, and this is the intense version. 
This fragrance right here, I wear to work. Well, that was before I knew I shouldn't be wearing this to work. Ooh, yes, I love it. I can smell it already. I don't even have to put the tissue up by my nose. Yes, I love it. I love you, girl. Mm. It has the same DNA as the original C. It has the same DNA. These two have the same DNA. This one is just incredibly, to me, it's more intense. Some people have said that this one has been strong. If they find it stronger or lasts longer or performs better than the intense. To me, to, to be quite honest, I can see how they could say that, but I still think that the intense is deeper. Let me, let me check it out right now. As a matter of fact, I could compare both. You guys are probably wondering, how in the world does she not have coffee and she can smell all this stuff? That's the kind of nose I got, y'all. As long as I'm not putting it on my skin. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're a little different. I could tell the difference. I could tell the difference. This one is a little more serious, a little more sharp. Not sharp. A little more leveled out. A little more heavy. This, I get more, more, a little bit more fruits. I wonder if this has fruits. Now I gotta go look. This always happens to me. I say, I'm not gonna do that. And then I do it. So the Intense is fruity, woody, floral, so spicy and aromatic. Fruity, woody, floral, spicy and so spicy and aromatic. The original is not aromatic. It's not warm spicy, but it's soft spicy. So we're not going through this. I gotta hold myself accountable, y'all. Hold me accountable, hold me accountable, hold me back. <laughs> okay, so this here, has more elements to it, the original C. The C Intense, it only had like five accords, five main accords. This one had seven, I think seven. I'm gonna put them both up here. But I think that this one has a more, um, where is it? This has a more fruity, a more thick vibe to it. Almost plummy. But anyways, those are the two. I'll just put them together right now. My next fragrance that I'm gonna be wearing during the winter or the fall is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. And this one, it's a little powdery. It's got, it's got some nice main accords to it in that it has like, you know, people talk about Dolce & Gabbana fragrances. I think that a lot of Dolce & Gabbana fragrances, the ones that I have anyways, they're kind of similar. You know, kind of like Marc Jacobs has the same DNA. C has the same DNA. Juicy Couture has the same DNA. I think a lot of Dolce & Gabbana fragrances it has that same DNA where it's sort of warm, enveloping, it's cozy, um, very few of them. I don't have any of them that are sharp. So if they're, it's either they're sweet, warm, cozy, powdery, um, tropical, like coconutty, you know, it always gives you that sort of um, vibe, you know. They have, I think, um, the actress that played Daenerys in Game of Thrones, she was the, um, or is, the face of this scent. And, um, you know, she was caring, she was a leader, you know, that type of stuff, a woman that's bold and strong. And I think that, that, but has that same element of softness and beauty and warmth and generosity. I don't know how generosity fits into perfumes, but. So it says here, the accords are, yep. Sweet floral, vanilla, and coffee. And I, but this is a, I don't know how to explain this. When I put this on, I like it, others like it on me but it's just kind of a meh. And the reason I want to wear more of it this um, in this this year, because I've had it for a year and I haven't touched it since January, right? So I need to, I need to wear this this year because again, it was a present. Okay, so let's move on. The next fragrance again, Mugler. I'm gonna try and use up all my Mugler. The only one I'm probably not, I'm scared of because you know, I tend to over spray her and then she chokes me out is the um, Angel. But this year I am going to use up some more. I've only had this bad boy for a year and I would like to get this past halfway. Yes, that's what I would like to do. And this is Angel, I'm sorry, this is it. What are you? This is Aura, I couldn't even remember her name. This is Aura by Theory Mugler or Mugler. I think they just call it Mugler these days. So this one, you guys, I talked about this a few nights ago, green, aromatic, sweet, woody, yes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how some people, you know, it's got a little bit of aniseed too. I don't know how some people don't like this. I love this stuff. 
I guess it's the same way people love black orchid and I can't stand it. Here. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I, li- I really like this. I really, I love the, bo- I like everything about this fragrance. I like the bottle, even though you have to lay it down like so. I like the bottle, I like the color. I think that it suits, the smell suits it. It smells just like Alien. It to me smells purple, smells purpley. What smells purpley? Grapey, um, like grape medicine, like some sort of medicinal. Yeah, it's the same thing with this. Oh my gosh, I really like this. I don't want to spray anything on my arm right now. Yep, don't want to. Don't want to. But I'm so tempted. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yep. So, all right. Moving on. I have got two, three cupcakes that I am going to be putting a dent in this, this, uh, right here. I am going to be putting a little dent in Emerald Rain. And the reason I'm going to put a little dent in her is because I want House of Siyash to go ahead and put her on. She's been on sale several times, but... I want to buy a backup. This fragrance right here is the bomb.com. Again, I will put the notes up here. It is spicy. It is warm. It is sweet. Mm, I love Emerald Rain. This bad boy is a good, like a night out, you know, dinner, close encounters. You know, I would, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Emerald Rain is just beautiful. It is, I smell spice, of course. Probably car- carmen, cardamom. Oh my gosh. A little bit of powder. Oh, how's the sillage? What do you do to me? Oh no, I'm not putting this over there because I don't want to drop nothing. Put it right back on the bed. Soft spot. This one here is Passion de l'Amour. This is a favorite by a lot of people. And me included. Okay. This here, again, it's spicy, it's deep, it's heavy, it's thick. Passion. Oh. oh my gosh. Y'all, my heart almost jumped off my chest. Oh gosh. Anyways, I'm going to be wearing her during the fall. I think it's a good, sweet, sophisticated, um, it's a heavy hitter, a fragrance. It's beautiful. It's beautiful on multiple skins, okay? Is beautiful. Love it. Passion de l'amour. Let me put her back down, okay? You go back in your box. Mm-hmm. And the other fragrance, the other um, fragrance from House of Siage that I'm going to be wearing a lot of is, this is Chivador. Sweet strawberry. Is it strawberry? Yeah, strawberry. Black rose. I think it's got a little bit of spice to it, but I love this. I wore this to work the other day. Let's see how badly. I haven't done a good, well, she, I've used her some. Yep, this is another another favorite of mine. In fact, all houses see all just favorites of mine. But yeah, Chivador. Okay, so this here is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. And Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Let's fix you, all right? It has the juicy DNA. It has that synthetic element to it. It's the same thing, but the reason I need to use this up is because I've had this again for a long time and I really need to use my fragrances up so it's Marc Jacobs everyone knows this one right here this is Marc Jacobs and this is Decadence and this is uh, I think it's one ounce or 1.7 oh this smells so good I've had it for a while I also have two other flankers I think you want me to do a video on my Marc Jacobs Decadence I think I have also Decadent this one, the decadence, and probably the divine decadence. If I don't, if I don't use them, these bad boys, I'm gonna get rid of them. Nah, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I'm not gonna say that. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. Bottom line, Mark Jacobs decadence. It's gonna get some use this fall and winter. And the next one, this is new to me, and this is Bulgari. Bulgari is a hit or miss with me, but I decided to get to try this. This is the Roman Night Absolute. This is this sweet. It's a little fruity as well. Notice the same thing, pouty, woody, fruity. <laughs> you know, it's funny. As deep and dark and as mysterious as this looks, the scent is quite light. <laughs> you get the low-key, you know, just um, elegant. I think this is nice. Yeah, again, nothing to write home about, but I think it's a nice fragrance. And the bottle is so pretty. It's a 
nice gift. If you don't know what somebody really likes, it's an easy gift. This is my number 19. I think it's number 19. This is Coco Eau de Parfum. And I, you guys know I did a video on this the other day and this is a recent purchase. And I am going to be wearing this bad boy during the fall and winter, yes. Because y'all know, I am now a Ch Chanel. I am now a Chanel lover. Yep, so Coco is sweet. She is, she is sweet and she is thick and not thick as in um, cloying heavy, but it can be if you put too much of it on, okay? And I am an oversprayer and I said I wasn't going to do this, but I got it. I got to, I got to just a little bit, just a teeny weeny little bit. I really like this perfume. Yes, this smells like elegance, Coco Chanel. Elegance in a bottle, bougie in a bottle, sexy in a bottle, can't tell me nothing, boss chick in a bottle. And you would think that it would be like too much, but I will tell you it's not. I experienced the eau de toilette. I did a video on that one as well. And I was blown away because I had it in the paper and I was like crunching it up in my hand and stuff. And I had it put it in the paper. I was like, oh, you know, it might go back to the store. It's nothing spectacular. And as it seeped into my skin, as I was rubbing the paper, the tissue like this, I tell you what, I was like, hold up. And I pulled my leather jacket back and I sprayed it on my arm. I was like, whoa. Yes. Yes. This bad boy is getting some wear this winter. Mmm, I just had an idea. It's not bad. If I want to take her down a notch, put her in her place. <laughs> I don't think anybody could put Coco in her place. If I want to take her down a notch, I would layer her with Bulgari Roman Knight Absolute. Because I think both of them together, yes. I know you're not supposed to do that, you know, but I... Yeah. It's a... It elevated her. She got a promotion. She got a demotion. <laughs> oh gosh. The last scent I'm going to wear this fall and winter is Dior Addict. And I really like this scent. I, I wear this. I've worn it to work. I like it. It's very sweet. It's um it's very sweet. This one is also nice and sweet, and it's got a, a vibe, it's a little deeper. Um, I think you can, and it's, it's like flirty. Dior Attic is flirty. I think you can wear this throughout the day as well. So guys, that's all I've got for you. Um, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you are wearing this fall, what you plan on wearing, what's your fragrance wardrobe going to be for this fall and winter. And, um, let me know if you have any of these, if you're planning on getting any of these, if you don't like them, if you like them, let's have a conversation down in the, uh, down in the uh, section, okay? Down in the comment section. With that being said, I want to say again, new subscribers, that's you, who you click that subscribe button today, yes. New subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate you and I love you and I really appreciate that you're helping me make this channel grow. Moving towards the 1,000 and when we get to 1,000, I plan on doing a giveaway. I really, really want to do that for some lucky individual, okay? Mmm, give them some good smell, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. And probably some makeup too because I like makeup, as you can tell. Mmm, <laughs> and lashes. Yep. Anyways, guys. My goal is to get to a thousand. Hopefully I can get to a thousand within the next 30 days. I don't know, I'm working on it, but you know, I just hit 700, so that's a lot. But either way, I am so thankful for you hitting that button, joining the Pam Fam and staying with me. I really appreciate you, okay? New subscribers, old subscribers, y'all know it. Hugs, yes, 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 huggies. Hug up, yes, oh yes, thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love you guys so much. You all break. I tell you what. Oh, don't forget. Follow me on Instagram. If you don't, if you are here on YouTube and you're not following me on Instagram, what you doing? What you doing? Follow me on Instagram. Same. It's Pamela X Jordan. My Instagram handle is at the bottom as well. Okay. And share my video guys. Share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Share my video so we can grow, party, I can buy like more fragrance 
supposed to be on a no buy. I'm about to film a, what I bought. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all I've got for you tonight. Thank you very much for joining me. New subscribers, I see you, I love you, and I truly appreciate you. Please, please, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done it yet, it's right down here. Hit that subscribe button, and then to my left, your right, is a bell. Hit that notification bell. When you hit that bell, it'll tell you every single time I upload a video. Guys, I am trying to get you guys, oh, oh, and share. Yeah, share the video, share my videos. That way, other people can come in and join the family because we're having a good old time over here, all right? So, I will see you guys soon. Please, again, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Be safe, bye! <laughs>